Hello all, welcome to part 13 of mobile testing training series. In this session, I'm going to explain the different mobile gestures that we use while performing the mobile app testing. So let's get started. So what are these mobile gestures? You see, when you are using the mobile phones or mobile devices like iPad, tablet, or smartphones, okay? whatever the mobile devices you use, you generally don't use any mouse, okay? You just use your fingers and make some movements with the fingers on the mobile screen, okay? It's a kind of touch, okay? So you will touch the screen with your fingers and move these fingers in different directions and different ways. And these movements that you are doing with your fingers on the mobile screen by touching the mobile screen are nothing but the mobile gestures, okay? So using this mobile gestures, we can perform many operations on this mobile devices, okay? On the applications that are being used in the mobile applications, okay? So what are these mobile gestures? And uh, these, without knowing these mobile gestures, okay, we cannot perform the mobile testing well, okay? So because all the people around the globe who are using this uh, mobile application in their mobile devices have to use their fingers or these mobile gestures to perform different operations on the application. The same thing we are going to, uh, uh, the same thing, whatever the user, end users are going to use, okay, in the real world, the application, the same thing we are going to convert into the test cases, right? So if you are testing the mobile app, okay, as part of mobile app testing, when you are testing the mobile app, you have to test this mobile gestures, all these mobile gestures that are required for using that mobile application. Okay, so what are the, for that you have to have the knowledge of what are the different mobile gestures and uh, how to use them and all those stuff, okay? So let's get started guys, okay? So we'll be using, we'll be creating the disk as software testers. Uh, we have to, while performing mobile testing or mobile application testing, okay? Based on these different gestures, we have to create the test cases or when you are discussing the same with the team, we should have the knowledge of uh, what mobile gestures we have to use and all those stuff, okay? So to communicate things to other people, like uh, I'm doing like this and all, okay? Or by while writing the test cases, we should have the knowledge of these mobile gestures, okay? So let me explain all the different mobile gestures uh, that, uh, that are required for performing the mobile app testing as part of this session. So let's get started. So the below are the different mobile gestures, guys. First one is tap, okay? If you are, this what is the difference between the uh, normal software testing that is being done on a web application, okay? So in a web application, what you do is you will open the application, you are, and you will use your mouse and move the mouse and perform the operation. You will click on the my account, click on the login. You are clicking using the mouse, okay? You'll click inside the email address field, okay? You'll click inside the email address field and uh, select this option. You'll click inside the password field and select the password, enter the password option, and you'll click on the login button. You, Everywhere I am talking about click, 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 right? Again, for logout also, click on my account and logout. Close, for closing also, for closing the browser tab also, I am clicking. But in case of mobile, the clicking won't be there. This click term will not be used, okay? When you are, either you are creating the test cases or you are communicating this particular thing with other uh, other people in the meet or meeting, okay? You will not say click. You will use a term known as tap. Tap means with your finger, you are touching the option on the mobile screen, okay? When you are testing the mobile application, okay, which is installed in the mobile, you have to tap, okay? For various reasons, you have to tap. With your single finger, as shown in this image, you can see briefly test surface with fingertip, okay? You have to tap. Instead of clicking on a button or option, uh, that we generally do in normal software testing, which is uh, performed on a non-mobile application by using the mouse and all the stuff. Just now I showed you. But in mobile app testing, we need to tap our finger on the mobile app screen for selecting and display and, and uh, uh, for selecting and uh, uh, selecting a displayed option. Otherwise, okay, for selecting a displayed option. So here, this is an image you can, you can imagine, guys, okay? Just tap on the mobile screen just to select that option that is displayed on the mobile screen, okay? So I'll show, uh, I'll give you one example for this, for tapping, okay? What is the example? Open your smartphone. Let's say you have a smartphone and just open the smartphone and type on any application to launch, okay? Uh, let's say in your mobile, 
in your smartphone, whatever the iPhone or uh, Android device you are carrying, there will be a lot of applications that are already installed in your mobile phone. Okay, just see the icon of that uh, uh, application in your mobile screen. Just open your smartphone and just tap the application. You see, the application will launch. Okay, this is what? To launch the application, we need to tap, right? To select the options. Once the application is launched and you, you want to do different... Uh, you want to go back to the back screen or you want to do some operations or you, uh, you want to select some options, you have to tap this. There's no other way. Okay. This tap is a necessary gesture and uh, then double tap. Second gesture that we may use while using the mobile application in your mobile device is double tap. Okay. So here, double tap is a gesture where we tap on the mobile screen twice immediately. Okay. Uh, with the... Uh, in within less time, you just tap uh, tap two times, like small gap. Okay, that is called as double tap. Rapidly touch screen twice with fingertip. Okay, so when you double tap, so one example I'll give you uh, where you can do double tap and get some uh, options, extra options. You just open any uh, web page or article uh, with a lot of text displayed on the mobile browser. Okay, in a mobile, open the mobile browser and go to any particular web page where some text is there. You just double tap on one uh, one word of that particular text that is displayed on the mobile screen and you'll get this uh, uh, extra options to copy, share, okay, and other options. Okay, you can try this in Android phone, guys. So just open one web page having some text in the uh, browser of the mobile device and just double tap on one of the word of that particular display text and you'll see this copy, copy, share options. Okay, you can try that. Next, flick. Flick means, uh, flick is a gesture, another gesture, guys, where we place a finger on the screen and quickly swipe it in any direction for faster scrolling, horizontally or vertically. So flip, uh, one of the example, uh, this is a, uh, another flick gesture, guys. One of the place where we use this flick is like when you open the contacts in your mobile phone, now uh, you just flip it, uh, 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 flick it, flick it down or up just to scroll uh, up and through the contacts, okay? Up and down of the contacts. You'll have a lot of contacts in your mobile phone, right? Uh, and you just flick it, flick it to the top or flick it to the down, okay? To uh, go in the different direction to uh, see the contacts. Or another place where you come across flick is flick horizontal or vertically. Let's say you have a lot of photos or pictures in your mobile phone. You flick left or right uh, to go to the previous or next picture in your mobile phone, okay? So this, as you can see, guys, okay, quickly brush surface with fingertip on any direction, like up or down, left, right, based on the whatever you are doing on the mm, mobile device, okay? In, in You can try this in Android phone, like in context, you try to scroll down, scroll up by using this flick up and down option or uh, go to the gallery, photo gallery in your mobile smartphones and then flick left or right to see the images and all, okay? Then we have... Pinch. So pinch means, pinch is a gesture where you put two fingers on the screen and then you, first first when you are putting your fingers on the screen, they will be in this position, guys, okay? You will have some distance. Now, slowly you will, be, uh, slowly you will bring your fingers together, okay? While uh, after touching the screen, you will just bring your two fingers together like this, okay? From like this to like this. What will happen? This will zoom in. For example, if you are using a Google Maps, okay, let's say you open one Google Maps and uh, you start, uh, you search it for some uh, destination and starting point and destination and you got a map. Now, if you want to zoom in, okay, if the map is very big, the route that is being shown is very big, not fitting into the screen, you put your two fingers on that uh, Google Map and then bring those two fingers together like shown here, okay. Earlier it was like this and you bring your two fingers, uh, you'll pinch in actually, pinch. Once you pinch, what will happen? The Google map will zoom in, okay? You can see a broader picture of the map, okay? In the limited section of the screen. Now, opposite of this uh, pinch is spread, guys. Spread means you will zoom out, okay? How? First you will put your fingers together like this and later your finger position will come like this, okay? You will zoom out. Okay, you can try this on Google Maps again. Okay, so if you want to see uh, the detailed uh, view of this uh, route that you are following while taking the Google Map before you travel, just uh, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Okay, by 
in, you will put the fingers like this on the screen and then uh, move these fingers. Okay, while the fingers are still placed on the screen, you will move them outside so that uh, the map map will expand and you can see the detailed locations on the map. Okay, uh, why why your route and all the stuff. Okay, this is called a spread. You can try this again on the Google Maps. The next one is long press, guys. Okay, this is another question. Long press. So when uh, one one example for the long press is uh, it's not tap this tap means you will immediately touch the screen and remove that okay remove the fingers from the screen okay once the option is selected you will remove but in case of long press you will uh, you will touch the screen and uh, put the finger still there itself you will not uh, okay you will not uh, uh, remove your finger from the screen okay so it will hold hold your finger on the screen until your desired options come out so for example one of the place where you use this uh, long press is press or long press is let's say you have different applications in your mobile uh, for example in android uh, uh, mobile phones or something or even ios also when you select the mobile application which is already installed on uh, online installed okay using the icon on the icon of the application okay on the mobile device uh, when you long press long press your finger and without uh, removing the finger for a while you will get this uninstall option. You can select that uninstall option and the app will get uninstalled, okay? So you can try this guys for, uh, for uninstalling double touch an app on the mobile screen and hold it for a period of time until you get the options to uninstall the app, okay? You can try this out. And also when you, if you are using WhatsApp, okay? Everyone uses WhatsApp, right? And if you have to send some voice messages, you have to uh, long press your finger on, a, on the send icon and automatically this, uh, mic option will come and you will record your voice and then then you will remove your finger after a long press and uh, whatever is the voice you have done right that will be recorded and sent to the other party you can try this in whatsapp also long press and next one is swipe guys swipe is nowadays uh, mostly used okay uh swipe is a gesture where we touch the screen and move the finger without releasing from the screen in any direction okay um <clears throat> so for example, this swipe you generally use. It's like swiping means. Uh, swiping means. Uh, it's similar to this one, guys. Okay, it's similar to uh, this flick. But in flick, what's happening is you will touch the screen. You will uh, you will move the finger in one direction, up, down, left, uh, right, whatever it is, and you will immediately remove, guys. It's not going to the finger is not going to stay on the screen for a long period of time. Just touch the screen and just uh, move it to the right side, and then uh, it will be on the dock. Okay. So like uh, a plane getting landing, okay, uh, uh, flight getting, uh, you know, right, uh, mm, taking off kind of thing, okay, this is there. But in this case, guys, in this case of uh, swipe, it's the finger will be still holding to the screen. When you are moving the finger, uh, either left, right, up or down, your finger is still on the screen. You are not moving up, okay? I mean, you are not uh, taking the finger off the screen, okay? This is called a swipe, guys. So where swipe will come into use is one of the place where swipe is required is, for example, in your Android uh, uh, Android uh, mobile uh, mobile device. Uh, from the top, when you swipe down, okay, by not, uh, when you swipe down, by not removing the finger from the top of the screen, I mean, from screen, what happens, notification center will come. You can try this out, okay? All the notification options like brightness and all this, uh, mobile wi-fi data and all those things will come okay rotation options and everything in, even in iphone or uh, ios also from the top right corner you just uh, swipe down okay and diagonally uh, diagonally from top right to uh, downside you try, try to swipe down okay and you will see this notification options will come this is called a swipe guys okay swipe there are different gestures uh, in the mobile application testing that we can use for various purposes. But we should have this knowledge, guys, while performing mobile app testing or for communicating the details to other people, we should have the enough knowledge of this uh, mobile, different mobile gestures, okay? So there are other mobile uh, gestures also, okay? There are other gestures also that we can use while performing mobile app testing. But whatever the gestures I gave you in this session or um, explained to you in this session, like tap, single touch, and uh, just remove the finger, double tap, okay? And for other flick, flicking on the screen, pinch, spread, long press, swipe, okay? These gestures are uh, generally used gestures, guys, okay? So this will be enough, but uh, there are other gestures also. So based on your need, you can learn from anywhere, okay? Fine. 
So hope guys you understood what exactly are mobile gestures uh, and their role in mobile app testing. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another topic on mobile testing. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.